Hey guys, before we get to the video, for more tips and tricks in the heating and air industry, please click that subscribe button. Hey guys, Joshua Griffin Air serving the Middle Peninsula and the Northern Neck, and I wanted to do a video that I think will help some of you if you come across this video when sizing a system for your home. And that is because, in my opinion, and a lot of guys that do what I do, they'll tell you there's some misinformation on the internet, people telling you how to size something for your home, how big your system should be. And I wanted to do just a real quick video touching on that because I think it's important for you to understand as the homeowner that there's more than just square footage that's taken into account when we are sizing heating and air systems in homes. So it's not just a, a matter of, you know, it's this many square feet and you're in this part of the country, so your system is going to be this big. There's lots of other things that we take into account. And in fact, I would recommend in a lot of cases, whether you're replacing a system or installing a system for the first time, and that is having a proper heat load calculation done in your home. Even if you have to pay for it, I think it's worth it. Let's say you're building a house and for the first time a system's gonna be installed, I can't tell you how many, and, and I'm, I'm telling you from experience, I know there's other heating and air guys that will agree with this, and that is, I would say the majority, the majority of systems installed in homes today are not sized properly. They're either too big, too small, whatever. In my market, they're usually too big. And that can create other issues such as moisture issues and humidity and comfort in your home. What we see here, and I'm sure a lot of parts of the country, builders are trying to get by with the lowest dollar. They're going with whoever's willing to install a system for you know the least amount. And because of that, things like a proper heat load calculation are not done. Now, I'm not saying there's any problem with going with someone that is charging less than someone else. You know, I think in some cases you get what you pay for, but I think in some cases, you know, you should watch your money, right? Well, I just want to let you know on having that proper heat load calculation, just because you're going with someone that does only new construction, they just install these systems, and they're on to the next one, no problem with that. There's guys that that's what they do and they do it well. However, those guys are not always doing everything necessarily properly. So I would recommend having a proper heat load calculation done. We have companies locally that that's all they do. They don't install anything, they don't repair anything. All they do is proper heat load calculations for companies and homeowners to make sure it's done right. So find somebody that does that. If you don't know of anyone in your area that does that, call some of the local supply houses. Say, hey, I need a proper heat load calculation done in my house. I don't mind paying for it. Do you have somebody that'll do it properly? And what I mean by properly is they're gonna take into account more than just the square footage. They're gonna take into account cubic feet of the home, meaning ceiling heights and things like how many windows the home has, how many appliances are in the kitchen. That matters, believe it or not, and so on. Insulation, I could go on and on on things that they take into account when they're doing a proper heat load calculation. So I just wanted to touch on that. I know there's websites and I've seen these charts where it has like a region of the country and it'll say if you're this many square feet in this you know region, this you should have a three ton system. I just want you to know that that is not a proper heat load calculation. I'm not saying that it won't be accurate. It very well could be accurate, but how would you know? So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching. The last thing I'll say is if you're in the market for a new heating and air system and you're in Virginia in the Middle Peninsula or the Northern Neck, Give Griffin Air a call. We'll give you a free estimate and the best warranty in the area. But if you're not in our coverage area, check out my new website. I've even got a little banner up here, newhvacguide.com. Check out that site because we've put so much information on there. It's as if I wrote a book telling folks, hey, here's the good and the bad avoid this or that. I've even got a whole page called no-nos, things to stay away from. And so before you spend thousands, check out that website. And finally, for more tips and tricks in the heating and air industry, click that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.